Man, this takes forever. Yes! Whoa, that was sick. Thanks, man. First try. Because of the social media, shorts, TikTok, there are so many fake knife throwing videos out there. So today, we will go from the more innocent ones to the ones that I really hate. And we're gonna be using these aged knives. So, let's get started. So the first fake you have seen in my intro scene. There is a guy doing super difficult trick shot and from the video it seems that it was definitely on the first try. But in the 99% guys, it's definitely not the case. Because the more difficult trick shot you've seen, you can be sure that it took hours, weeks and some of the most difficult trick shots can take even months. So you have to keep in mind that if you're gonna see something like this, it most likely wasn't a first try. But of course, nobody liked to watch editing the videos. So you were able to see this also on my channel. So I would say these are the more innocent ones. Let's go on another one. I am sure that you have seen on the TikTok, on the YouTube shorts, some guy and he's throwing like a screwdriver, saw blade or anything with the sharp point and he's sticking it into the no problem. If you are a beginner, your mind must be like mind blow. It seems like superhero skills. But I'm going to tell you guys the biggest secret laid into the soft target. That's the fake number two, because if you are experienced knife thrower, you know that we are throwing into the soft targets. That's completely normal and it's perfect. And also on the competition, we are using the soft targets. But for the beginner, if you don't know this, it's like I said, it might seem like super skills, but actually, if you know this secret, you can stick anything with the sharp point. So even this screwdriver is really no problem. But what if we're gonna change the material? I have here like a pallet. Can we stick it into this? Bouncing off. So if you're gonna see that somebody is sticking like uh, some crazy objects, look at what we have. Like the wrench, you know, it could be little screws anything it doesn't even have to be with the sharp point but if you're gonna switch the material it's going to it's not going to stick anything all right so like i said that's the fake number two soft targets bamboo chopstick. So from the basic distance, and if you know the technique, even total beginner can do this. Fake throwing knives. There are so many of them out there. How they look. So check it out guys, I got some examples. So the more crazy shape, the better, I guess. Light, small, but for some reason, something like this you see in the movies, in the video games. Bad guy throw it, always sticking with the point first. But actually, these knives could be so dangerous, especially if you don't know this and you are the beginner. Because knife like that, if you're gonna hit it really bad, you kill that. It actually almost hit my cameraman, sorry. So you have to be always careful because these rebounds really crazy from the target. So what actually real throwing knife look like? Check it out. This is a big difference against our AJ Stinger. Normal throwing knife should have at least 20 centimeters, 200 grams 
and width about five millimeters. All right, so you can clearly see huge difference from the cheap one and the real one. A lot of people think that throwing around the person or knife throwing act is fake, but 90% are actually real and super dangerous. Like my friends from Deadly Game, they are really amazing. But of course, there are many fakes out there, like this magician on the TV talent show. Somebody picked the card, magician threw the knife, blindfolded, and the guy, like a moderator, threw the whole pack of the card and magician was actually able to hit the card exactly that was picked and pin it into the target. So this one, it looks really impressive, but it's gonna be definitely fake because in one shot, you can clearly see that moderator is throwing the whole pack of the card in the middle of the stage, but in the second clip, you can see the cards are flying towards the target. So I personally know from my own experience that these shows are in 99% are not live and it's a lot of editing there as well. So we don't know how it actually exactly happened, the trick, but maybe the knife could like uh, open from the other side. It looks definitely really impressive. It's uh, magic, but is definitely fake. So what's actually show up in the knife throwing community in last couple of years actually really baffled me. So it's actually mixed with real skills, but the videos are edited with the sound effects and speed up movements. So, if you are a total beginner, you have actually no idea what is happening in the video and it really seems that person is like superhuman because he's actually fast and when the knife impact is making like a you know like a crazy movie sound effect anime and it looks absolutely cool but it's totally fake so we can show you in uh, one b-roll how my fake sound effects would look like. So you can clearly see how this is deceiving. From the normal throwing, it looks totally flashy. And for the beginner, it might seem that these are the experts and actually they are claiming they are they're selling the certificates, stuff like that. But it's gonna be another fake. So let's check it out. So this fake is very serious because we all know that in all martial arts, there are so many fake experts. He's wearing the black belt and for his students that are total beginners, it might seem that he actually have some legit skills, but you know, they actually got their ass kicked when some really skilled fighter is show up. And in the knife throwing community, that's basically totally same. There are so many experts, they are maybe selling the courses, certificates, but they actually never been on the knife throwing competitions. They have zero medals and they claiming they are knife experts. But in my opinion, if you want to prove yourself, you definitely have to go somewhere that is not your backyard and you have to throw against the best throwers. Because if we can compare it against the UFC or some other martial arts sport, it's like saying like you are punching just the back and you are claiming that you are some super fighter. It can work like that. So you definitely have to show up and show some results. All 
Last but not least, this guy hiding under the mask got so many people, even skilled throwers in our knife throwing community. Because actually, he has some skills. You can see like he's able to draw the swords, cutting the apples, stuff like that. Maybe he is even able to throw it. But there is one viral clip I'm going to show you right now that it's completely fake. Check it out. So we believed with our cameraman Peter that this trick is actually split screen. So in one case, in the wine point of view, he's actually throwing something. In the other one, he can just throw the knives and stick it into the target. And for him, it's actually a good trick because it's old camera and he's throwing like a small pan or something like that. So it's easy like to hide in the hand for the camera and just doing this crazy movement and it's 100% impossible. Because as you know, I am very good in the no reload technique where the knives are flying one by one really quickly into the target. From the overhand, it's actually no problem to stick them so fast like the guy is doing, but in his case, he's doing the movement from the down. And with a no spin technique, that's impossible to do it from such a distance. I think he was about three meters doing that fast and with a no spin. In the real life, it would actually look like this. I think from the bottom, it would be really impossible. So now we can do a little recreation of what he did before. So today, you are able to see there are so many fakes out there. So let me know in the comment section below which one you dislike the most. And if you want to support the channel, there's going to be a link for these aged knives. But for today, that's it. So thank you everybody for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.